It's really not about working three hours a day. Um, what we discovered is that it takes about three hours for, it, there are two 90 minute increments, okay? And so it's all about work, focusing on two big picture priorities, okay? Just give you the, the overview of it. Two big picture priorities that you focus on to the exclusion of all others. I'll give you an example. So when I was in the listing game, when I was listing houses, there were 46 steps to a listing. Step one, generate the lead. Step 40 was closing, and then there were six steps that happened after closing. What I learned was that there were only two things of the 46 that moved the needle 90%. So that's all I did, was those two things. It took me about three hours a day. Everything else, the other 44, were done by others, okay? Welcome back to the Business Healer Podcast, where we help you quadruple your income while working just three hours a day. Now you can get off the roller coaster of feast or famine and finally scale your business the easy way. Hi, I'm Nolly Williams, the Business Healer. I run three six-figure businesses while working just three hours a day. And in this podcast, I show you how to focus on the things that help you make a ton more money while working a lot less without the hustle and grind. Let's go. And I'll share the slides with Bradford. You can get them from him. All right, so anybody have any questions up to, up to now? Somebody said, boy, get to the good stuff. All right, we talked about this. I want to inspire. That's my mission. Um, what I want you guys to do right now is come up, is, is write down, you can do it in your head, you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your paper. Um, write down your intention. Like, what's your intention for this event? I think it's very important that you have an intention. Like, why are you here? What's your, what's your purpose for being here? What do you want to get out of this? And you might even say, what is your outcome? Yeah. What's my outcome for this? I'll, I'll let you spend 30 seconds or a minute. Just, what is your outcome? And I'll have a few of you share your outcome for this event. What's my outcome? What do, what do, I, what do I want to do? Why am I here? And by the way, thank you guys for being here. I know there's a lot of places you could be right now. Anybody want to share? What's what's your outcome, Lee? Focus and inspiration. Focus and inspiration. Focus. Focus and inspiration. I like that. Focus and inspiration. Who else? Anybody else want to share your reason for being here? Raise your hand. I'll bring the mic to you. Right here. Maybe believe in myself and have the vision that I can make it, even though there's kind of a mold that I'm in right now that you got to break. Oh. Tell me more about that. Oh, well, I'm in medicine, so I'm in medical school, and it's oh, very, very much so like a rut that you're in that it's hard to do anything on the side of. You're the one that's going to be a surgeon. Potentially. <laughs> but it's very much so like a job that you're stuck into, and there's you're going to get to a good place if you just follow this train, but it's very hard to do anything on the side, especially while you're getting there, and, you know, it's really another at least 10 years before you are free, at least... Uh, the typical surgeon to, to make the choices you want to make. Yeah, that's part of the path. Thank you for sharing that. Appreciate it. Anyone else? Anyone else want to share? Anyone else feel like the Holy Spirit is just like, man, you, you, okay, I see you. I see you trying to hold back on me. Like, I, nah, I don't even raise my hand. All right. All right. Uh, first, I'd just like to give honor and praise to the Almighty and for allowing me to be here and for one of my teammates, Billy, for sending me the link. I appreciate that. Um, so I put, um, to obtain knowledge, to make six-figure income, to live a peaceful and stress-free life that will allow me to live and help others. Amen. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh, my husband and I have a four-point guide for how we live, and it is to grow spiritually. Hold on, hold on. We're going to take notes on this. <laughs> All right. A four-point guide for how you live. That's how, what you and your husband have. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so it's to grow spiritually, to cultivate relationships, to generate wealth, and to have fun. Oh, I love it. And so everything has to fall under one of those four categories. I love that. To grow spiritually, to cultivate relationships, to generate wealth, and to have fun. Mm. And so, uh, for me, the reason why I came is to work smarter, not harder. I love that. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm here. Amen. 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 Anybody else? I was just going to Okay. 
Okay. Anybody else want to share? And then we'll get you in there. Hey, everybody. Hey. So when I first came, um, I just thought it was going to be a way to scale my business, that I would learn something. Um, but while I'm sitting here, what I wrote down was, today I'm going to hear a word from the Lord that's going to take me to my next. Yeah. Okay. So that's what. But um, I just have to tell you, too, my dad's middle name is Nolly. What? And I never, no. I promise you, uh -huh. and I actually, my middle name is made up after him. So so it's it's Nolly, like spelled like mine? His is N-O-L-L-E-Y, his and my grandfather. N-O-L-L-E-Y. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. I, I don't I don't hear that every day. <laughs> my dad's middle name is Henry, so it's <laughs> um, <laughs> um really I came here to support uh my friends. But what I wrote down was that um knowledge isn't power, applied knowledge is power. And so I came here to relearn and engage the tools necessary to create the successful life that I want. Just retraining your brain, you know, That's getting right. back into it, just retraining your brain. So it's Monica. Yes. Monica. Yeah, thank you for that, Monica. That is so important because what, like, what Monica said was, um, and I appreciate you for mentioning that you, you're here to, to receive a word, right? And um, so like, like Monica was saying, you know, retrain the brain and, you know, sometimes when you come somewhere, you think, okay, I'm here for this reason but it really ends up being something for you. And that's really why I'm here. This is for me too. We're all on, the, on this path together. We're on this growth path together. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Um, and I know a few, a few more of you guys, will be, you'll be able to share later. By the way, um, I don't have a clock. Is there a, there's not a clock here. So I, you know, I could go for five or six hours. How many of y'all get the idea of that? Um, but I do want to be cognizant of your time. And so we'll, we'll get you out on time. Uh, we're scheduled to go till 12. This thing is not advancing for me. Come on, buddy. It's stuck. Hold on, let me see. It's thinking. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it doing something. Let's see if I. There we go. So I'm. I thank you so much, Kyle. I'm here to help you live your dream life right now. And here's what I consider a dream life. And I've, I've polled lots of entrepreneurs. It's earning a quarter million or more a year, having nights and weekends off. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Taking four to five vacations a year. Okay. Is that looking better? Um, be debt free and working three hours a day. Okay. This is the life that my wife and I have been living for more than a decade. And it really is the life that you can have as well. And a lot of the principles that I teach are in my book, Three Hours a Day. If you don't have it, you should get it. If you've got Kindle, if you got the Kindle thing, then you just download it. If you got the, it's free, you know, if you, you're paying a membership. Um, if you've got Audible, it just came out on Audible last week, and you just, you, you, you know you got a credit you need to use anyway. Just go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. Make that your next one. And the, because there's a lot of research and there really is a system to this. It's, it's very methodical. And I can't, I can't teach you this in two hours, but I can give you the framework for a lot of, what, of, a lot of this. Um, so that's really the dream. How many of y'all would love to have that life? Raise your hand if that's the life you want. And by the way, it's really not about working three hours a day. Um, what we discovered is that it takes about three hours for, it, there are two 90 minute increments, okay? And so, it's all about work focusing on two big picture priorities, okay? Just give you the, the overview of it. Two big picture priorities that you focus on to the exclusion of all others. I'll give you an example. So when I was in the listing game, when I was listing houses, there were 46 steps to a listing. Step one, generate the lead. Step 40 was closing, and then there were six steps that happened after closing. What I learned was that there were only two things of the 46 that moved the needle 90%. So that's all I did, was those two things. It took me about three hours a day. Everything else, the other 44, were done by others, okay? And that's what allowed me, as a solo agent, to become the number one real estate agent in Austin, Texas, with 9,800 agents 
that year, it was my fourth year in the business, when Austin Business Journal came out with a report, my production was ranked number one. And uh, as a solo agent, I did 96 transactions that year through MLS that they could track. It was a bunch of them I did off MLS, okay? So, but, but I only did a very small number of things. And so that's what three hours a day is. is so it's about, you, those three hours is what you dedicate to the things that really move the needle. And if, whatever you do with the rest of your day is up to you. You want to work eight hours a day, nine hours, 10, 12, I don't care. But I want you working three hours a day on the two big picture priorities, okay, in your business. And they're different depending on where you're at in your business. Okay, does that make sense? All right? So, so that's really what three people are like, oh, you, I, there's no way I would only work three hours a day. Well, you don't have to. I mean, you can work whatever you want. But if you, if you tell me, for most entrepreneurs, I, tell, I say, write down what you did in the last three days or the next three days, write down everything you do. And I can cross out, I'm, I guarantee you I'm gonna cross out 90%. Now, if I tell you to do it, you're gonna start thinking, do it. But if I say, hey, what exactly? I mean, I was busy yesterday, I put in my grind. I, was, I worked 12 hours. Well, busyness doesn't equal business. Okay? And the truth of the matter is, if I looked at your 12 hours, Uncle Nolly would, would, would shave it up. i say, look, you didn't have to do this, 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 this. These are the two things you had to do, that's it. My three hours today, I'm here. I'm gonna do two hours here. And I'll probably do another hour or whatever, whatever else I do. Okay, that's my day to day. Um, I could actually delegate this, but I love doing this. So, you know. All right. So this is a blueprint that I came up with. It's a success blueprint. Um, don't just. A lot of people are like, man, I'm just gonna work. He said work three hours a day. I didn't say that because you're gonna go broke. <laughs> there's a system. There's a system in place. You know, step one, two, three, four. There's a there's a methodology to three hours a day, okay? And I write about it in the book, I go through all that. And I'm not here to just, you know, like, okay, I'm just gonna read my book and tell you everything that's in here. Like, man, why would we go to that? I could just bought this book, you know? I'm here to give you the stuff that's not in the book. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. So, uh, what I do is I focus on three different kind of entrepreneurs. And let me, um, by the way, Susan is my timekeeper, so, <laughs> So she, okay, good, okay, we're good, we're good. I would like to have some time for Q&A, but at the pace we're going, we might not make it. All right, we'll see. So newbie Ned, Ned is in his first few years of business and not quite meeting his goals. So Ned needs to get, on, get his feet under him and is confused about what to do to generate business. What's Ned's problem? He's got a what problem? Okay, newbie Ned. Any, any newbies in the house? Any new entrepreneurs? Newbies? Okay. So that's going to be your big problem is to figure out what to do. Okay. Now the next uh, entrepreneur that we're going to uh, look at is Coasting Crystal. Crystal has been in business for some time and she has gained a clientele and is coasting on a semi-steady uh, pace. Okay. But Crystal needs to maximize her impact and income to move from feast or famine. Okay. And is confused about how to do this. You know, that's feast for famine mode. And I can, I have a lot of information that I teach. I could go a whole class just on this, get you out of feast for famine. Um, so any coasting, any, anybody been in business for a while and you're kind of in that, sort of in that pocket. And then the final one is Rockstar Rick. Okay. I think John, I think we got John up here. John was gonna help me teach the class. So here, Rick is on fire. He's making good money. He's looking for ways to grow his personal and, uh, per, his personal and business life while working less, okay? Rick desires to grow and his biggest issue is knowing who to hire or partner with so that he can grow to his ultimate potential. That's Rockstar Rick. You feeling that? Oh, he's feeling it? All right, all right. Because <laughs> John is the kind of guy, you're a developer. Too. I 
forgot about that. Give <laughs> <laughs> me that mic. Yeah. <laughs> He's, oh, he's got a real estate team. He's doing this thing. Yeah, how many of y'all feel, feel feeling for John right now? Like, thank you, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so he's rock star Rick, and and so so when you look at newbie Ned, newbie Ned has a what problem? Coasting Crystal has a how problem, and then rock star Rick has a who problem. Okay, and that's really what it's all about. When you when you figure out your right who's, how many of y'all read the book Who Not How? That's okay, a great book. Um, and you know that I highly recommend as well. So, all right. So Proverbs 22, 10.22 says this: "The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, without painful toil for it." You know, a lot of people hire me; they pay me a lot of money to make them wealthy. But what I realized was I was just creating miserable millionaires. It's like I want to learn how to make seven figures. I want to. I want to do this. You know, well. I can teach you all that, but you're going to be a miserable millionaire if you don't get all the other stuff with it. Okay? And in the NLT, it says the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. I see a lot of people getting very wealthy, but they've got the, all this, this angst that goes with that. And that's not what God teaches. I want, let, let's, let, I'm going to give you a, a new affirmation if you don't already have this one. I choose to make it fun and easy. You, you, Justin knows that one. I think Bradford, you know that one. I learned that from my coach Artemis. I choose to make it fun and easy. I choose to make it fun and easy. So there are three types of freedom for entrepreneurs, for us in this room, that's financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom. If you've got all of those freedoms, you've got the trifecta of freedom in your life. Because how many of you became an entrepreneur to, be, to have freedom? Like that was one of your big, big uh, things. So financial freedom, you can, do whatever you want to do when you want to do it in terms of financially. Uh, time freedom, literally you can do whatever you want to do when you want to do it, okay? Because you've got control of your time. A lot of entrepreneurs don't own a business, they own a job. And I tell them all the time, you don't own a business, your business owns you, you know? And so the reality is, if you, if you want to really get to the, to, you know, to the freedom that you desire, this is what it is. And then location freedom. I could be in Savannah, Georgia. I could be, I'm gonna be in, where are we going, Pensacola? Uh, well, we're flying into Pensacola, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna go visit my mom. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go visit mama. I mean, I forgave my mom when I was 18. You know, Christ, when, when Christ comes into your life, you know, you, you let all that stuff go. And, uh, you know, she's never apologized, by the way. And that's okay. Because I've gotten, I always wanted to know why. That was my whole thing. Man, I just want to know why she did it. Do you realize that a person that's cray, you know, Mom, I'm not talking about you right now. I'm just saying. A person that's cray cray, you ain't never going to figure out why they do. But why did that guy kill all those people? If you knew, look, you don't even want to know why. He, you know, you can't even, your mind can't even go there. Okay? And so God asked me, would you surrender the need to know why? Some of you need to surrender the need to know why. Maybe you were molested as a kid, maybe been, been through rape. I, you know, I've, I've, I have clients that have been through a lot, okay? And a lot of times the way we operate in business is the way that we operate through trauma, okay? I know that when I was on the streets, I learned that you can't trust nobody. That's what I learned. It's like, man, they're trying to, you know, I was always looking for my duffel bag, where's my money? Is it, I'm counting it, is it? Oh, I got I got hundred dollars missing. What's up? You know, that's how we think. And so when I got into real estate, or when I got into business in general, I didn't trust people. And while that was a good sort of a, a skill to have, not trusting people, it was actually good on the streets. <laughs> Wasn't so good in business. So a lot of times we're operating from trauma responses that need to be let go. So this is you inside your business. It's like a labyrinth, like a maze. Uh, which way do I go, left or right? You know, when you're working in your business, that's what. It, how many of y'all feel? I see a few smiles on your face. How many of y'all feel like that sometimes? You're in the weeds of your business, the day to day. Okay. Now all you have to do, if you have a drone that flies you up above the maze, just 30, 40 feet, now you can see every every turn. That's where you need to be. You need to be in the drone that's above above the maze. You don't need to be in the maze. Get out of the maze. Does that make sense? Any idiot, none of us are idiots by the way, but any idiot 
can see how to get out of this if they study it long enough. Okay? You're never going to figure out how to get out of that. And a lot of my entrepreneurs that I teach are stuck that way. And that's really what the gift of three hours a day does. It gets you above the maze so that now you can work on your business instead of in it. People would tell me that, man, you need to work on your business and not in it. They never showed me how to do it. Three hours a day is the blueprint. So dial in your three hours a day. We talked about this. The minimum should be three hours a day focused on dollar productive activities, things that actually bring income into your business. And there are very few, very few. When I'm talking about, when I talk about income creation, I'm talking about things that actually bring fresh money into your business. We call that now money, okay? Or some people call it cash flow or future wealth. So if, I, if I'm in the real estate business and I generate a listing and I go on the appointment and I sign the listing contract, I'm done. There is no future wealth. The only thing that's going to generate, I mean, obviously we have to close the deal, but my job's done. I've already generated that income. So I throw it over my shoulder, my team catches it, and they take it to the pay window. Does that make sense? Thanks so much for tuning in to the Business Healer Podcast. Remember to spread the healing by sharing this episode. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. I'll see you on the next healing episode of The Business Healer.